La otra es um, verifying truck route. Ah, está bien la ruta. Hello, uh -huh. teacher. How are you? Good evening. Okay. Good evening. How are you? Sorry, Hello, my teacher. Spanish. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Sharing information? Yes, about the, the homework. That's always good. Share information about homework. Okay. So, how was your day, Edwin? Tired, teacher. Tired, tired. Tired? <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. you were working last night, right? Yeah. And today, yeah. have you slept? Day off. Uh, I'm sleepy. I'm sleeping four hours. Four hours? In the morning. Okay. And for the afternoon, sería ejercicio, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Exercise. Exercise. Uh. Para bajar las lonjitas. <laughs> That's always good. Exercising is great. Yeah. Um, um, a little cardio. Okay. A little bit cardio sería, ¿verdad? A little bit of cardio. Oh, cardio. Uh, I'm not that much into cardio, you know. I, I mean, <laughs> I like better uh, weightlifting. In my case, for me, it's weightlifting. A mí me gusta Wait. más peso. Really? Um, But cardio for uh, me, uh, uh, no I, way, Jose. Yeah, I have, no. Hago como es la... I do. I do. I do two routines. Two cardio. Two routines. Two, two routines. Cardio and high weight. Okay, lifting weights. Lifting weights. Yeah, I prefer lifting just weight. lifting weights. I mean, cardio for me, uh -uh. Lifting. <laughs> lifting. Yeah, but in my case, uh, the problem is this, that I stopped like for one year. So I am starting again. Estoy comenzando de nuevo. No. So I'm lifting like what? Chest, I'm just pushing up like uh, en banca solo levanto but uh, 25 per side 20. 20 no actually 30 30 per side yeah. 30 por lado i was with 45 i used to be with 45 oh. ya le ponía 45 por lado so i mean i feel the difference yeah eh, eh, in my in my caso, in, in caso, my case, in my, in my case, eh, tenía dos años de no hacer ejercicio. Yeah, it, it desde, desde que, yeah, eh, desde que tuve el accidente, oh, yeah, como solo, imagine. igual, como todavía no me he recuperado, todavía no me puedo hincar para hacer ciertos ejercicios, Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Pues, yes. Yeah. No, it's like for me, as I told you, uh, in, with the uh, with the poly, well, con polea, I I was pulling a uh, hundred. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just uh, actually yesterday I was pulling sixty tops. So I feel very weak. Me siento muy débil. Yo que solo en la casa hago ejercicio. No, no, no. If I stay at home, I don't. <laughs> if I stay at home, I get the remote control and mm, forget it, man. I I'm, don't do. I am listening to music. I so listen yeah. to music. I listen to music and more energy. <laughs> no, man. Look, uh, here we have uh, we have uh, weights. Acá tenemos pesas. We have a uh, gloves we have a, a, a well my son practices uh, kickboxing mi hijo practica kickboxing tenemos saco gloves everything but mm -mm, not for me man i mean here <laughs> at home i go rather go look for a hammock 
mejor busco una maca. That's en el mercado, eh, en, yo solo cuando tengo ganas, prácticamente. Oh, Eso okay. sí, le pongo it's, bastante. Es like this: when I am in the mood. When I am in the mood. When I am in the mood. Yeah. Three, four hours. Three, four man. hours? No, man. I yeah. do one hour and a half. Okay. One hour. One half. hour and a half. Or a media. That's for me tops. Every day. Uh, every day. Antes es cuando jugaba fútbol. Okay. Eh, antes. Before. Aquellos tiempos, before, en aquellos tiempos dorados. <ríe> ok. Eh, pues, when, when I used to, cuando solía. When I used to solía. play soccer. When I used to play soccer. When I used to play soccer. Eh, I pass to... Mo, uh, to Sunday in the all uh, all day all all day okay no in the soccer field in the soccer field in the soccer field en la cancha yeah. tenía tres o cuatro partidos al día three or four era bien delgado per day per day wow no, I yeah. was not into that. I mean, soccer was not for me. And I would sometimes, run... yes. And sometimes, uh, seven a.m. first uh, partido. The first game. The first game and eleven second game. <sighs> ya corriendo uno de una cancha a la otra. Uh, two um, and tonight. 7 night, 7 p.m. Yes. That's, final, that's final game. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Puro Gatorade. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I used, I used to play basketball. Eh? But, yeah, and I used to play soccer, but once in a while, I had tiempo. But for me, it was basketball, what I liked the most. But as I told you, I was young at that time. Now, no more, man. Now is the remote control, a cup of coffee, no. happy. A mí no me gustaba pasar en la casa. Yeah, you know, but time passes by. El tiempo pasa and we succumb to time. Yeah. Sucumbimos. That's normal. Imagínese what? ahora que me toca trabajar los domingos. Yeah, welcome to the club, Edwin. Don't worry. Responsibilities do that to everybody. La responsabilidad es <laughs> a todo el mundo. Thank you, Edwin. Interesting. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Vladimir, what about you? How was your day, mister? Good, teacher. Uh, well, I'm tired like Edwin. Okay. But, but please, don't ask me about physical exercises because okay. I don't do anything of exercises. You don't exercise? No, teacher, sorry. Why not? I don't like it. When I was young, I got, I went to the gym, but I, now... I used to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym. Now, come on, teacher, give me a break. <laughs> come on, man, you are not that old. How old are you, Vladimir? Uh, 46, uh, almost 47. Yeah, that's not that old. I am 41, man. Okay, but my day was tired because I need to wake up earlier than on other days. Oh, really? Why? Uh, today, uh, today I I bring Epsom for for blood. Oh, uh, and, and another another one. Okay, I took. Uh huh. They uh, lab comes oh. to central bank and oh, took absence. And they take the blood. Uh huh. The blood sample. 
good sample and the other uh, other two ones okay oh i hate blue samples man when they take <laughs> samples for me the problem is that i don't know i am thin i am thin and they still uh it's hard for them to find the veins in my arm mm. so your veins i don't know they they hide they had ah, yeah they hide your your veins hide believe me i've been there and they sometimes they try in both arms or your veins are very thin i don't thinner. know i don't know what happens but it's so hard and besides that my blood coagulates pretty fast Oh, so really? if they don't take the sample fast, it clogs. It I clogs. ask you that because my daughter has the same problem. Her, it clogs. her veins are thinner and high when when need to take her exams. Her sample. Yeah. Well, what they. It's a sample, Vladimir. They are taking a sample. Oh, okay. the, exam, the exam is the one that they perform in the laboratory. Ah, oh, okay. It's after an example. Maybe they give me the the response, the, the results, the result, uh, the next week, I guess. Okay, and general. I'm sorry, I'm going to disactivate your, your audio. Okay. And that's, uh, that's perform uh, yearly, your yearly checking out or? Yearly. It's a program that has, that have Central Bank. Sorry for the doubt, sorry. No problem, no problem. Let's see. Give me just a sec. That Sonia says that she's having problems to connect. It's weird. Everybody is like late today. Luis is coming from Morazam. Yeah, still. That's far. Is a tire uh, How do you say viaje? Trip. A try. A try. A tire trip. Yeah, it is. It is a long way from here to Morazan. Well, it's around three hours with no traffic. But remember that they are working on the street by uh, on the way to San Miguel. Están trabajando de camino a San Miguel. Well, they were. Estaban at the end of last year that I went. Yes, last year, yeah. By December, and they were. And they the were, traffic is, it starts from San Martin to San Salvador. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another thing. Yeah, I live in San Martin, I know. No, but the, all the way there, they were, they were working. And I stayed there once in December. I went to to Sulutan, but I went by Panamericana. I, I stay stopped in the traffic for 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah, by the... the, the by the Sacate Coluca. No, aquí por el puente. Uh, do you remember when the street from Sacate Coluca was repairing for a long time? Oh, yeah. It was difficult travel to Panamericana. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible horrible well but at least there's people here so i got four of you wow excellent i'm worried oh there's a little bit <laughs> now i got five i'm getting happier i like the big group the, the small group is not good for me <laughs> gets me sad gets me sad well thank you vladimir we are going to greet mr ruiz okay hello walter how are you Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day? You look relaxed today. You look very uh, relaxed. It's a busy day, but but not as stressful as yesterday. 
Oh, really? Yeah. That's excellent to hear it, that it was a yeah, busy day. But I like better, I like it better when my word, my word is busy, but it's not stressful. Oh yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah. But the good thing is that you say that uh, not as stressful as yesterday. Yeah. And you use yeah, a very no. nice, you use a very nice expression. Y me utilizó una expresión muy buena. And you say, not as, that is a beautiful expression. You express no como. Yeah. No tanto como, actually. It's nice, very well done. Excellent application of, of that part of vocabulary. Muy buena aplicación del vocabulario. Okay. So, and tell me, what are the plans? Is today is Thursday. We are almost in the weekend. What are the plans for the weekend? Or no plans the yet? Weekend. In this moment, I'm not sure. Maybe this is my friend, maybe. But I don't know that my mom. Oh. The, uh, Como sería? Um, my mom, I go with my mom a visit my padrino. Oh, good father. Good father, good father. Good father in Santa Ana, but I'm not sure in this moment. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, they will ask you to go. You don't know if they will ask you to go. No sabes si le van a pedir que vaya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I prefer to sleep all afternoon. Yeah, it's always good to rest. And if you can sleep during the day, that's even better. Siempre bueno descansar. Sí. Well, yes, tell me. Last Sunday, I sleep maybe 16 hours. Say what? 15 hours. Hour. I, okay, I slept. I slept. slept. 15 hours. Wow, 15 yeah. hours. Man, that's a lot. Yeah, I only remember that I wake wake up to diner. To have dinner? To have dinner, but I don't remember more. And, and then go back to sleep. Wow. I don't remember more. The only time I slept like, let me see, like, 15 hours? When was it? Oh, I was taking uh, medicines for sleeping. Uh, that's, that's the only way I can sleep that long, uh, 15 hours. Wow, amazing. Cool. So I woke up maybe 11 because my mom called me. I, don't, I doesn't remember why. But no, my brother is called me. That say you get. I don't remember that say. Okay, well that's cool. Call me. Call all me. Day. Call me. Look in the chat. Called me. Call me. Call, Call me. me. Perfect. Well, thank you, Mister. Interesting. Let's okay, see who else is around. Sonia, hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. How was your day, Sonia? I had a good day, uh, but very busy. Oh, really? Tell me, what were your activities yes. this day? You needed to present a report, I remember, or to prepare a report. Uh, yes. Um, además, ¿cómo sería? Además de oh, eso. Besides, besides that. Besides that. Uh, the most relevant things uh, was, uh, how do you say, sacar costos para cotización? ¿Cómo hago? Okay. ¿Cómo to get costs for quotation. To get costs. Quotation. Yes, quotation. With okay. Q. Okay. Uh, when, when, entonces, eso es. Para ordenarme, the most relevant things was to get cost. Yeah, for quotation. For, 
quotation or service quotation. Okay, perfect. Um, I meet with the, those responsible the legal area and inspections. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, from follow up the case. Okay, to follow up the cases. To follow up cases. To follow up. It was very technical. So it's para. Yep. To follow up the cases. Oh, okay. So it was very technical um, here today. Okay, casos. Cases. O asistencias que, que se dieron, pero fuera de este país, en, en su Honduras y Guatemala, principalmente. Okay. Y que están como abiertos, como en trámite, o que necesitan seguimiento, ¿cómo es eso? Give me a second. Ok. Like this. For support given to cases abroad. For support given to cases abroad. Abroad, ¿qué es? En el extranjero. Ah. Eso ya lo voy a anotar. Only that. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, as I told you, it was very technical. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's always good to have you busy. Es siempre bueno tenerla ocupada. Thank you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Daisy, hello, Daisy, how are you? Fine, teacher. Fine. Daisy, 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 I was checking in the platform. You still owe me the mute term. Todavía me debe el mute term, Daisy. No. When did you do it? No, teacher. ¿Cuándo lo hizo? Uh, el word de, de ayer lo mandé, ahora. Oh, today, okay, because I was checking yesterday and I'm, I'm I will check tonight after the class, okay? I will sí. verify tonight after the class. So tell me, Daisy, how was your day? What did you do today? Repeat, please, teacher. What were your activities this day? Um, my activity this day, I check, I write report. Uh huh. What else? I I check email. You check emails. I check report. I I check the pieces. The oh pieces. Sí. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell para me. decir lo mismo todos los días de semana. The same routine. The same routine. Well, yeah, you know, but the good thing is that there's a job to do. Lo bueno es que siempre hay un trabajo por hacer. Sí, eso sí. Okay, welcome to the class, Daisy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Teacher. Let's see, Mauricio, are you there? Are you around? We are having problems with this connection. Okay, dogs. Let's see. Alfonso and Antonio Cabrera. Hello, mister. How are you? Good evening. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, and my day is very good. We went to visit the place where we we will install the elevator. Elevators. Elevator. Oh, really? That's cool. That's cool. And how do you where see? We, 
how do you see the location? It's going to be easy to work or a difficult location to work? The location is easy. Easy. It's in, location is uh, less column. Okay, up there. Way up there, hasta allá arriba. Uh, yes. Okay. So, is it going to be easy to work there or a difficult location to work? Va a ser fácil trabajar ahí o difficult? Mm. Easy o fácil, no? Easy. Easy. Okay. It's very easy. That's cool. Is the, con is the, con the new constructions, the, the building? So your company is building, your company is building up a new building. Your company is building up a new building. Okay. In the first case is building, is building, building is a verb construir. In the second case, it's a noun, edificio. So your company is building up a new building. Uh, Su compañía está is, construyendo un nuevo edificio. Uh, no, no, no exactly. Uh, si la empresa tiene, tiene eso, Esa área, okay. pero nosotros vamos por install elevator. Ok. Interesting. The construction is others, others yeah, yeah. company. No, what I mean is that I was wondering, yo me preguntaba, that ah. if your company is building up another building. Oh. And in your case, your specific area to work is the, the installation of elevators. Of car eh, elevator. No, no, no. De col, eh, para decir, seré colaborador. I will collaborate. I will collaborate. Oh, really? Yes. My my word specific is uh, maintenance. Yes. Okay. It's maintenance, always good. The matching eleva elevator. It's always elevator, good to eh, learn. Siempre bueno aprender. Yes. Ah, this is new for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the the the, the hydraulics of that. is very interesting. La parte hidráulica me parece interesante. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is actually. I mean, uh, 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 the problem is that I was always interested in the hydraulic hydraulic part area of working, but. Uh, for a couple of years, I worked more in the in the water water pumping systems. Okay, oh. mm -hmm. that's that was the area I worked more, like installing pumps for uh, pumps for cisterns, for um, wells, also and also for the pools. Uh, what is pools? Piscinas, swimming pools. Oh. And ah. also for for systems of um, firefighting para sistemas contra incendios. Contra incendios. Yeah, I used to work in that area too. También trabajé en esa área. But man, it was. Oh, this is it, interesting, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> but it was so many years ago. Hace tanto tiempo. I mean, I was young at that time. Very young. I was. 18, yep, yeah. I was 18. 18? Yes. Ooh. More time, teacher. Oh, the situation is this. I finished high school when I was 16. Terminé el tercer año de bachillerato a los 16. So I mm. started working right after it. So, I mean, that's why when I was 18, I had like two years of experience. Ya tenía yeah. experiencia. So, yeah, but... It's your area is very interesting. We, we are going to talk about that more. <laughs> Vamos a hablar más de ello. Thank you, Alfonso. Thank you, Dishan. All right. Interesting talking to you. Mr. Arana, let's see. 
Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. How are you? I am fine. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you make me doubt when you sigh. Me hace dudar cuando suspira tanto. Es como le digo, es complicado estar solo. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not easy when you got all your relatives abroad. Okay, but what about the day? You were working today. How is the payment coming along? When were payments? ¿Cuándo fueron los pagos? Oh, la, this week, right? Monday or Tuesday. Yes. So you are um, free of that. My day was cute. Was what? Uh, uh, tranquilo. Quiet. No, calm, calm. Uh, calm. Calm. I have, you have to tell me like this. I have a calm day. Oops, calm. I'm sorry. Calm, calm. I'm sorry, my bad. Calm. I had a calm day. Okay. I have a calm day. Oh, no, calm. Yeah, no quiet because quiet is like this, like everybody starts talking and I get, hey guys, please, quiet. Okay. Be quiet. Okay. okay. So you didn't have a quiet day, you had a calm day. Okay. I have calm day. Okay. Okay. Is, is um, I did the routine update ban account, write check, uh, answer email. Reply, reply emails. Okay, reply email, email. The, the normal routine, a normal day. Yes, yes. Okay, good, good, interesting. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is uh, 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 Sonia? Please tell me. Yes. Tell me, Sonia. Uh, tell me the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. Okay. Um, my usual activities is uh, I am a. I am having my breakfast in my office. Yes. I'm checking my email in the morning. Okay, listen up, Sonia. Listen up. Huh? I ask you, I ask you, escúchame. I ask you the activities you usually <coughs> do on a Monday morning, okay? Now, mm -hmm. on a Monday morning, I usually, cuando digo usualmente, in mm -hmm. this case, I'm sorry, I didn't explain this quite clear. No explique esto claramente. Uh, mm -hmm. When we talk about things we usually do, those are routines. Son rutinas, ¿verdad? And tell me, how mm -hmm. do we express routines, Sonia? ¿Cómo expresamos rutina? You can express, I check. Okay. I check my email in the morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Continue, please. Um, um, I meet with my work team. Okay. And I'm checking. I check the petty cash, or petty cash, of a uh, of providers area. Petty cash. Petty cash. Petty cash. Okay. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. That's normal. That's normal. That happens. Thank you very much, Sonia. Okay. Okay, before I continue, let me get the attendance. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on in my mind right now that I've forgotten. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta, absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. 
Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. And no here it is. Uh, Ivania Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Lizette Garcia Rodriguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher, I hear you. Thank you, Luis. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Absent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia, no here. Sonia Mabel Aso González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay, let's see. Perfect. Just let me see check on something. Okay, okay. Perfect. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, where's, 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 Edwin, Edwin, tell me the activities you usually do yes, on sure. Monday morning. I am here in Pupusa Dayote, normally uh, on Monday. Yes, normal. terrible, terrible. <laughs> I'm verifying truck route and checking email and send emails. 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 And work it usually do on Monday morning. Okay. Listen up, Edwin. The pronunciation is yes. truck, 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 truck. It's rounder, más redondito, truck. Wow. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. What about you, Walter? What are the usual, Walter Arana, what are your usual activities on a Monday morning? What do you usually do on a Monday morning? Okay, teacher, this moment. please. Me dice si lo pronuncio bien. Yes. I am getting, I am get out oh, at 6 a.m. today a shower. I am heading to work a little before 8 o'clock. Okay. I am buying breakfast before I get to the office. Buying, buying. Buy, buying, okay. Buying. I am buying, be reviewing bank accounting online to project income and expenses for this week. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Now, listen to the question. I'm going to switch the question. Ahora voy a cambiar la pregunta. Vladimir, tell me, what are you doing this coming Monday? Sorry, teacher. What are you doing this coming Monday? And miss the next Monday. Yep. Oh, uh, well. Uh, maybe the same routine. Uh, checking my, I'm checking my email. Oh. What is coming money? Oh, I can use in that case, I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to, or you can just use the present continuous. Okay, I'm checking my email. Uh, well, what else? Um, monitor, I'm monitoring the cybersecurity tools. I'm taking a cup of coffee like every Monday or every day. I'm preparing a, a statistics and reports yes. on every like every Monday. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's okay. see. Walter Ruiz, 
tell me, what are you doing this coming week? Are there new activities from your company for this coming week? This coming week may be, or usually check email, checking email, send emails, maybe install, installing GPS. Okay. Maybe. Uh, mostly the routine. Yeah. What about you, Edwin? Tell me, are there new activities coming for next week in your company? Voy a revisar cómo voy ahorita, con horarios. <laughs> oh my gosh. Schedule. So you got everything scheduled already. Ya tiene ah. todo programado. Yeah. yeah. Um, Monday, uh, I checking. I am checking. In. I am checking in uh, 5 p.m. Ooh, 5 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. terrible, man. Eso no es de Dios. I'm working tonight, at the night. Okay. Uh, and, uh, check, checking, I am checking emails. Okay, perfect. And send and send email. And verify in root. Okay, so you're going to be like busy. This. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, we are going to do to go practice a conversation that appears on your manuals on page number thirty-three. Okay, there's a small conversation there. Let me share it with you. Okay, let's see. We have a short conversation here. The instruction says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. I will repeat for you guys. The conversation goes like this. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, guys, let me get them groups ready. Okay, perfect. Now this is okay. Hold on just a second. Nope. Perfect. Please jump in. Three minutes for doing the activity. Hello, Sandra. Okay. 
okay. Hello, Mari. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hard this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Okay. I am talking to colleagues and chicken reports. Uh, so. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am seeing, signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the ad bank in the company? Peter is. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activity, activities you are doing this week? I wrote, well, there are many things I am doing this week. Activities you are doing, you are doing this week. <clears throat> Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I do, I am doing this week. For example, I am sitting some payrolls and signing. Tw and signing. Hmm? Signing. Signing. Okay. Y payrolls es la otra palabra. Está bien. Yep. Pues, Perfect. Okay. Uh, I am sitting some payrolls. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay, I am Thanks. Rose now. Yes. Hello, okay. Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? No, I am Rose. Ah, no, 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 no. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm, I am doing this week. For example, I am saying... Signing, Sonia. Signing. Okay. I'm sorry, it wasn't me. It was the system. I gave you 60 seconds. That one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see who's going to start. Alfonso and Daisy. Alfonso, you will start. Hello, Mari. What does... What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payroll on Tuesday and sending email on Wednesday and you? That's okay. I am talking to colleges and colleagues. Repeat, teacher. Colleagues. Colleagues. Okay. Colleagues in check, checking reports. And who is analyze, analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. Next is going to be, okay, Elwin and Vladimir. Elwin, you will start. Okay, teacher. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, 
there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to police and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, excellent. Very well done. Sorry right? for my dog teacher. No problem, no problem. Now let's see, Walter, Arana, and Ivania. Walter, you will start. Okay, teacher. Hello, Mary. Where are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, girls. Where? There are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am seeing some fiber on Thursday and seeing emails on Wednesday and you. That's okay. I am talking to college and checking reports. And what is analysis the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay. Signing, signing. Colleagues, colleagues, analyzing. Thank you very much, guys. Now let's see Sandra, Janita, and Walter Ruiz. Walter, you will start, please. Okay, teacher. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, uh, there are many things uh, I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails in, on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the thing in the company? Peter is. Okay, okay. Doing, doing, doing this week. Signing Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Colleagues, colleagues, Mr. Ruiz, colleagues. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see. Arvin and Luis Armando. Arvin, you will start, please. Okay. Hello, Luis. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Arvin. Well, there are many things I am not doing this week. For example, I am seeing some payrolls on Thursday and sending emails on Wednesday, and you? That, okay, I am talking to police and checking reports. And who is analyzing the events in, this, in the company? Peter is. Perfect, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Just some little corrections. Signing, sending. And remember guys, doing, doing. Now let's continue. And last but not least, Sonia and Susana. Let's see, Susana, you will start please. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are something activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter East. Okay, very well done, guys. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, um, uh, 
Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Sorry. It was good the pronunciation, but I will point out some words there. So I'm going to share with you again. I will repeat the pronunciation and I need you to pay attention to it, okay? Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls. I repeat, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. Remember, reports, no reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? And who is analyzing? Remember this word, analyzing, okay? The advances in the company, Peter is. Okay, My question to now, you. yes, tell me. Uh, Puede repetir de, de Mary or Rose? To, no, no, Rose. Talking to uh, in part, uh, that's okay. I am talking. That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. Colleagues. Yes, colleagues. I actually remember guys, I send you the pronunciation. I always send you the pronunciation. Let's envío siempre la pronunciación to the group. So you can check it out later and practice it if you wanted to. Siempre se las envío por si ustedes quieren revisarla o practicarla later. Or if you have any doubt with the pronunciation of any given word, you can do it later, okay? Se los dejo ahí siempre grabado para que ustedes puedan revisar la pronunciación. And you don't have to check the whole video. But of course, if you want to check the whole class, it's there in, in the platform. E igual, si quieren revisar toda la clase, la encuentran en la plataforma, right? So it's up to you if you want to do it, like in the platform or checking the conversation there. But if you got any specific question with the pronunciation, please let me know. Okay, now let's continue. Next activity. Let's see. For the next activity. Activity. you are going to do exercise four, okay? Exercise four says, fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. So the activities program at your workplace. We are going to do exercise four and exercise five. Fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace. The regular activities for this coming week. But look, there are three here. We need to add six more. And then share the events you have with three classmates. That means that we are going to be working in groups of three members. Okay? So let me... Send this so everybody can have it. Or second, then please connect. Manual. I get a picture, send it to you. And we're gonna do the activity. Okay, for this activity, you will have five minutes because you need to write six sentences, six activities, and share it with your classmates. You are not going to report to me about your classmates. No me van a reportar sobre sus compañeros, okay? Just share. I will pass by checking out that you are saying sentences in English. Yo voy a pasar verificando que ustedes están diciéndose las oraciones en inglés, okay? But you are not going to tell me about them. You are going to talk to me about your own activities. Okay, now let's see. I need to create the groups again because... Uh, perfect. 
Let me see. Ya estaba mañana. Sí. Por no le pone gasolina el carro. Ok, guys. And groups are created. So, please, jump in. Okay, let's go check them groups. Sandra, they're waiting for you. Hi. Serian oraciones, verdad? Yes. Making calls. Your, in Guam. your activities. Mm -hmm. Oh, activities. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like um, one of the okay. making phone calls, uh, checking mm -hmm. reports, pay bills, pay bills. Okay. Yes, is is the um, right check. Uh huh. In general, teacher, can you explain again, please? My Yo tengo el primero, que es ROI on site. Eh, excuse me, excuse me, Daisy. Eh, teacher. Teacher. Creo, creo que lo perdimos. No, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, Please repeat uh, the activity, please. Just tell your classmates six activities you are doing on your company. Te le escuché entrecortado, dice. Okay, hold on, man. Let's see, let's switch. Tell your classmates six activities or events that you have at your workplace. Dígale a sus compañeros seis actividades o eventos que van a ver en su compañía. Or perhaps that you are going to perform. O quizás actividades que usted va a hacer. Ok. Six. Yep. Six Thank activities. you. I start supervising. Mm -hmm. uh, the service. Service or services? Service. Services. Oh man, that's different. Supervising the services and preparing report. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Ya vio que superé preparing. Report. Ya no digo report. That's cool, that's cool. It's just a matter of practice. Todo para aprender a decir reporte, todo el mes. It's just a matter of practice, remember, all the time. Like, like, like me, teacher, with statistics. Statistics. Oh, wow. You know, which word. Word, you know which word was for me like that? ¿Sabe qué palabra me costó a mí así? Uh, ¿Cuál? Cucumber. Cucumber. Cucumber, Cucumber yeah. ¿En serio? <laughs> Cucumber. Okay. The thing... yeah, I thought cucumber. <laughs> uh -huh, cucumber. <laughs> okay. Uh, the proper pronunciation is. Uh, cucumber. Cu no, listen. Cucumber. 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 And I say cucumber. cucumber. I say. Uh -huh. uh, Cucumber. 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 
Yeah, and for me, it's always the same. I always got trouble with that. <laughs> Finish. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I'm sorry, but you will wait because the other person from your group is in the school, the other person in the group. ¿Quién era la otra? Sandra. Sandra is having problems Ay, with connection. Tiene problemas con el internet siempre. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vladimir. You will have to stand this lady. Tendrá que soportar a esta chica un rato. Ay, no. <laughs> okay. No problem. No. Feliz uh, está. Sonia, please. <laughs> Sonia, please behave. ¿Qué es eso? Compórtese. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Calling pilots, verifying truck routes, 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 plural. Roots. Sorry. Mm. And trucks, también, verdad? Yep. Replying email, sending email, y attending me. In attending in meetings, attending meetings. Sure. Sure. Yes. Podría ser having meetings? Yes, having meetings. Well, no, in this case it's attending meetings, asistir a reuniones. Teacher, um, en la pronunciación de, la de firmando, signing, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes, like that, perfect, signing. Signing, full voucher. And, um, Eso sería una de las mías, Edwin. Sí, Delivery of orders. I'm so sorry to interrupt you guys. Perdón que los interrumpa. Susana, uh, according to my to my schedule, I got you assigned for today for 10 minutes after the class. De acuerdo a mi horario, lo tengo tengo 10 minutos disponibles para usted este día. I don't know how you are with that. No sé cómo estamos ahí. En este momento todo parece que sí. Okay, if not let me know. Si no, cualquier cosa, me avisa. Because I got some okay. people who wants who wants also extra support and I can switch, perhaps. Porque tengo otros que necesitan okay. igual. Puedo okay. cambiar. Just let me know. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. I tell you. Okay, thank, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay. We're going now. Alfonso or Daisy? What else? En el chat, en el chat. En Ahí el... se le puse, ¿eh? checking emails. Esa sería una. Ah, sí, correcto. Esa sí ya la tengo. Ok, another one. Eh, recordatorio de pagos. Uh -oh. Sería re reminder, reminder. Reminding. Remind, reminding. Reminding payroll. That's okay, teacher. Payment, Payment reminders. Ah. Al revés. Payment reminders. Payment okay, thanks, teacher. Analyzing. Huh? Analyzing profit and loss. Analizo estado de resultados. The estado de result status. What? Result status. Hmm. I don't understand. Profit. Profit and loss. Oh. Perdida y Profit and loss. Okay, we are going to give them a couple of seconds more so they can come back. I'm going to require them to come back in 60 
seconds. Okay, 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 let's see. We're just waiting for some of you to come. I think everybody's coming back right now. 12, 13, 14, let's see. Okay, guys, before we continue, I need to get the attendance one more time. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta, absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Thanks. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez. Absent. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Absent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Absent. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ivania, hello Ivania, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine. Okay Ivania, tell me what time did you finish working today? Uh, yeah. Excuse me, pardon? At what time did you finish working this day? Uh, I finished at uh, 6 p.m. Okay, and how long did it take you to get home? At what time did you get home actually? Uh, usually um, eight o'clock or eight thirty. Okay, and tonight, what time did you get home? Um, eight um, seventeen p.m. Oh, really? That's cool. Tell me some of the yes. activities that you are having this coming week. Tell me the activities. <laughs> Tell me the activities you are having this week. Um, the activity that we are going to do. Yes, okay. exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Um, sitting full voucher. Uh huh. And sending emails to clients, and talking the, to talking to drivers, and. Esta me cuesta pronunciar a teacher. Eh, reviews lies on a bagley driver. Viendo oh. la disponibilidad de pilotos. De conductores. Availability. 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 No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay, the pronunciation is like this. Availability. A B A B activity. Okay, listen again. The word is this one. Look. Mm -hmm. Look in the chat. And the pronunciation is availability. Availability. Okay, okay. I got a way to explain that to you. Repeat. It. Look at the word. Vea la palabra. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the word. Okay. Mírame, la palabra. Okay. Repeat mm -hmm. after me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it. La viability. La viability. Say with me. La viability. Say with me. Billery. 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 Bailery. Bailability. Listen, listen. <laughs> okay, I know I know it's not easy. Just a second as fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Mándeme la por audio mejor. <laughs> me la no, it's just I just realized something. Me acabo de fijar en algo. It's miss tell it. Está mal escrita. That's what makes it complex. Look. Mm. Check it out now. E -B, e -B, no, no, no. We are going to start in the other way around. Vamos a comenzar de atrás para adelante, ¿ok? Billity. Oh, ok. Billity. Be with me. Billity. Billity. La billity. La billity. La billity. La billity. La billity. Okay, okay. I, <laughs> I will post it in the group. I will post it in the group so you can practice it, okay? La pondré en el grupo para que la practique. Okay? Sí, please. Don't uh -huh. worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, the pronunciation uh -huh. of the word is availability. Availability. Okay, thank you very much, Ivania. <laughs> it was fun. Please, don't worry. We were, we were talking with you, some of your classmates, that that happens. Hablaba con sus compañeros que eso pasa. There are some words that for us are difficult. Algunas palabras que se vuelven difícil para algunos de nosotros. That's normal. That's normal. For me, no it's statistics, teacher. Uh, for me, it's cucumber. Cucumber. For me, it's pepino. I cannot pronounce it correctly. I always get, I have to think it. Debo pensarlo in order to pronounce it properly. So don't worry, Vanya, that happens. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue. Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Tell me about your activities, mister. Okay. I'm um, calling drivers. Uh-huh. Um, verify two groups. Perfect. Two groups. Uh, I'm replying email. I'm sending emails. I am attending meetings. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Sandra, your turn, please. Hi, teacher. Your turn. I call, I call my clients in checking emails. Okay. Prepare reports and payment reminders. Reminders. Remi okay. Reminders. 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 Payment reminders. I create, elaboro, create, creo que se dice. Create. No. Create correspondence. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Now, let's see. Let's see. Arvin, what about you, mister? Tell me, Arvin. Good evening, teacher. Tell me your activities, please, mister. Okay. I do Google app reports. Uh, he bowls to Sersa Prosa. Okay. I do I do pretty cash settlement. I am okay. the cash register managers. Excellent. Great. Thank you very much. Susanna, please. Hi. Tell me your activity, Susanna. Okay. For a I'm cleaning contacts. Okay. I send quotes. I make invoice. I complete liquidation and update orders report and delivery of orders. Excellent. Thank you very much. Daisy, what about you? Okay. Review report. Perfect. Email. Okay, yes. Get jacket. Excellent. Review construction the jacket specific specification. Perfect. Only Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter Ruiz, tell me your activities, please. Okay, teacher. i making calls, reviewing reports, listening reviewing. to music, reviewing reports, listening to music, checking email, airing a snap, um, fighting with my coworkers. Okay, fighting with my coworkers. Actually, when you say fighting, uh, perhaps discussing, discussing. Sounds better. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, actually, no. The most proper well will be this one. Arguing, arguing. This one. Arguing. Okay, Walter? That's what the meaning is Arwin? Una discusión oral. Ah. Arwin. Okay, Walter Arana, your turn. Please tell me, mister. Okay, teacher. Um, analyzing balance is cheap. Analyzing profit and not. Uh, checking report. Um, Paying payroll and writing check, reviewing report. Perfect. And pile billing. Okay, excellent. Well done. Well done. Okay, let's see next one, Vladimir. Okay, checking emails attending webinars, analyzing logs, monitoring cybersecurity tools, looking up information in internet, and taking a cup of coffee. Okay, perfect. Just give me a second. The part of the cup of coffee is the best one, Vladimir. Okay, let's see who's missing. Luis, Luis, you are missing. Okay. Please I'm tell checking me. Checking emails. Yes. yes. Okay. Checking emails. Uh, writing report. Perfect. Uh, having meeting. Replying emails and checking reports. 
Ok, thank you very much. I think that's it, right? Creo que ya subieron todos. Mm. Nah, so, as usual. And Alfonso. Ok, Sonia, wait a second. Ah, Alfonso, Alfonso, goes. Okay. Alfonso, please. <laughs> ok, teacher. Uh, vamos a ver. Um, mark entry time. Ok. Mark entry time. Checking in. Check mark made. Checking in. No mark in. entry time. Okay. You say uh, checking in. Checking in. Check in uh, quiere decir marcar la entrada. Y en el caso de la salida. Check out. Checking. Check out. Yes. Solo cambio eso entonces para que no se me vaya a olvidar. Check out y checking. Checking. Checking in. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Uh, number two, uh, check my mails. Number three, uh, review reports. Uh, number four is give mountains to machines. Number five, eat a snap. E number six, mark out. Checking, checking okay. out. Okay. Review reports, okay? Review, Review reports. reports. And the other word, maintenance. Maintenance. Repeat. Maintenance. Maintenance. Oh, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, now, Sonia, your turn. Okay, my activities this week are attending meetings, checking the petty cash, checking my emails, uh, supervising the services, preparing reports, uh, and checking indicators. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Excellent. Now, guys, let's see. Next activity. Okay. We're going to go to the manual to page number 34. Okay, but let me explain something. Este, I'm sorry, I will turn into Spanish just for a second. Tenemos un ejercicio de lectura. Today, right now, I am going to focus on pronunciation and vocabulary. Nos vamos a enfocar en pronunciación y vocabulario. The homework is to answer the questions. La tarea para ustedes es contestar las preguntas. It's very simple. It's true or false. It's the false or verdadero, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. But here we're going to focus on vocabulary, right? Let me show it to you because it's big. It's a big, big, big uh, activity. The vocabulary is a lot. Okay, look. This is an article about activities to keep employees happy. To keep, para mantener, employees happy. Discuss if the sentences below are true or false and correct the false one, okay? You are not just going to choose if they are true or false. If they are false, you have to correct them. Las falsas las van a corregir. Okay, organize yoga classes. Let's focus on yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Okay, look. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, 
improve brain function and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Questions about vocabulary. Preguntas con vocabulario? Yo. Yes, tell me. ¿Qué significa underestimate? Subestimar. Subestimar. What about outlook? Uh, punto de vista. Yes, that's. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál pregunta? Outlook. Like the mail. Uh, es, es punto de vista. Yeah, in this case, it is. Okay. Lift mood. Um, Lift mood. Levantar ánimo. Oh, okay. Lift mood. Outcomes, results. When you say outcomes, it's the same as saying results. Anybody else? Alguien más? No? Okay, let's continue. Teacher, repeat outcomes. Outcomes. Resultados. Okay. Number two. Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them, oops, I'm sorry, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. I repeat, you don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay, now vocabulary. Boost. Boost. Hmm. Levantar. Boost more round. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Impulse. 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 Impulsar, levantar. Uh, rely. Okay, okay, what, 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 what? Oh, to rely, and uh, that would mean, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad, perdón. Just give me a second. Rely es basarse, o en este caso sería, in this case would be specifically confiar, okay? I'm sorry. Acknowledging, acknowledging, reconocer. Teacher, repeat and teacher. Yes. Repeat and um, the palabra que está diciendo ahorita, acknowledging. Acknowledging, acknowledging. 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 Okay, look. It shows your team that you care about them. This expression, esta expresión, that you care about them as people. Quiere decir, que le importan. Care es cuidar. But in this case, when you say that you care about them as people, you're saying that they matter to you. Está diciendo que le importan como persona. Usually that word means just, uh, normalmente esta palabra significa simplemente eh, cuidar, okay? But 
in this case, uh, when you say I care for all the people on in my working area, quiere decir me preocupo o me importa, okay? In that context, that that word means that. En ese contexto, esa palabrita significa eso. Me importa, me preocupa. Okay, when you say I care for them. Care, remember, eso aplica cuando es care for. Cuando van las dos palabras. Care for. Okay. Like when Vladimir gets romantic with his wife and he said and he tells her, I care for you. Me preocupo por ti. Okay. And he also says, and I care of you. That's different, you see. Y en el otro dijo, y cuido de ti. You see? I care for you. Me preocupo por ti. And I care of you. Cuido de ti. Usually, care, para decir cuidar de, usually we we'll get it with take. Take care. Okay? Take care. Yes. And when you, care. when you are going to the de alguien. Oh, yeah. Take care. Uh, yes. That means cuídate. When you say to somebody, hey, bye guys, bye, take care, cuidense. You see? Let's continue with the with the text. We have a lot there. Okay. Or simply buy them around, around, in a ronda. Of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay, I don't like birthdays. Let's see, paintball. This is Elwin. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Again, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Okay, questions about vocabulary, guys? Steam. Okay, this some is an steam. expression. This is an expression. Ah, to, let, to let off. Let, let up some steam. That means to get uh, to get rid of stress. Liberar un poco de stress. Ah. Because actually, let off is dejar salir. Some uh -huh. steam is steam. actually, I mean, it's uh, vapor. Algo de vapor. Ah. Dejar salir. Let up some vapor. steam. Dejar salir. But, but if you see it in the context, pero si usted lo revisa de acuerdo al contexto, we are talking about activities that are good for the, for the group. Son actividades que son buenas para el grupo de trabajo. So, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam. So, remember, guys, you do not translate. No estamos traduciendo, estamos interpretando, okay? That's different. When you translate, you go exactly word by word. Si usted traduce va palabrita por palabrita, ¿verdad? But in this case, we are not translating. We are trying to understand. And remember, languages are like that. Y así son los idiomas. So when we say let off some steam and he's talking about the employees, it means like your employees have been under a lot of pressure. Los compañeros han estado 
en mucha presión. Let them let off some steam. Hay que dejarlos que liberen un poco. Any questions about that? Is it clear that expression? Si está clara esa expresión. Yes? Okay, let's continue. Okay. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out, though. Watch out. This expression. Watch out. Okay. Imagine, imagine that you are walking. Imagine that you are walking and something heavy is going to fall on you and you do not notice. You are like walking normally and something heavy is going to fall on you. And somebody comes and tells you, hey, watch out. You get the expression? It's like, uh, ten cuidado. Okay? Watch out, but that in that ex, in that context, in ese contexto, okay? Usted va caminando, imagínese que están cortando una rama y usted no se da cuenta. Y le da a alguien y grita, hey, cuidado, watch out, okay? That's the idea. And watch out, though, though, uh, though it's a... Do es una muletilla que algunas personas tienen. Ok. And some people use it like that. Uh, even though. Watch out though. But it. No significa nada específico en ese contexto. Watch out though. Tal vez puede significar así que. The same as so. Okay. It depends with those type of expressions. It depends mostly on when were you born for Americans. Para los americanos depende más cuál van a usar de cuando nacieron. Like uh, um, if you were born like in the 80s, let me see. ¿Cuál era en los 80? Mm, I'll try to remember. Tratar de recordarme cuál era en los 80. In the 90s, we were using a lot of like. Usábamos mucho la expresión like. Uh, look, this is very interesting. Like uh, preparing for classes is interesting as well. Like, you see, I'm using like. Then, in the beginnings or like 2000, we were with so. So, uh, Let's continue. So we got a new activity for today. If you notice, actually, so is one that I use. Okay. So is one that I use a lot. And then came do. Okay. Oh, what you call it? What you call it was in the 80s. And then let's see, though, though it's newer, okay? But it, it's just a, a muletilla, you know? It's like when people in Spanish say, va. Oh, pues. Pues, yes. Like that. Exactly like that. Okay, let's continue. Guess who? Okay, this one I don't like it. Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them out, put them all up on a board, and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits 
while offering plenty of humor along the way. I will read again. Ask everyone to bring, to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Now, ask everyone to bring, traer, or in this case, llevar, a childhood, niñez a childhood photo of themselves, sí mismos, and put them all up, colocarlas o pegarlas, on a board, un pizarrón, and then get everyone to put their best guesses, eh, suposiciones, on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun. Diversión sencilla. That will definitely help lift spirits. Levantar el espíritu. While offering, mientras ofrece, plenty of humor. Muchísimo humor along the way. Okay, I don't know you, but did you understand what was the last activity? Entendimos cuál era la última. Imagine that I ask you, yes. that I tell you, okay, guys, you bring a photo of you when you were kiddos. Tráigame una foto cuando estaban chiquitos. Okay, then I get them all. I put them on a board. Las pongo en una pizarra. And I tell you, okay, guys. Let's say, write down who's who. Escriban el nombre, quién creen ustedes que es cada uno. In some environments, you can do it. In some others, you cannot. En algunos ambientes se puede, en otros no mucho. Besides that, uh, some of the pictures they take of us when we are kids, algunas de las fotos que nos tomaron de niños, I mean, you hide them, don't share them. Muchos las escondemos, no las compartimos. Ok, your activity is to do the exercise, ok? Analyze the vocabulary if you have any question with vocabulary. Practice the pronunciation tomorrow. You are going to read me all those again. Mañana me las leerán de nuevo, ok? You are going to read, it, read them and tell me if the sentences that appear below y me dicen si las oraciones que están abajo are true or false. If they are false, I need you to please tell me why. You need to correct them. Okay? Si son falsas, me las van a corregir. Any question about the activity? No? Okay, perfect. That's the... Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, tell me. If, it, if it, the sentence is false, we need to make a new sentence. Yes, you need to correct Necesita corregirla. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, let's say, like number two, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Is that true or false? False. If, false. if you say false, okay, tell me what is the correct sentence. Uh, okay. okay. Now, let's see. We have another conversation. I'm sorry, guys. We have another conversation here for us. Let's see. And the conversation says, oh, man, I hate when this happens. Oopsie. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, the conversation says like this. 
Good afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. I repeat, guys. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. I will repeat just one more time. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, guys, I just sent you the recording and I sent you the, 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 a picture of the text. Now, in this conversation goes for tomorrow. Esta conversación se la voy a pedir el día de mañana. Okay? So, practice it. I'll give you time tomorrow for you to practice here in the classroom, but you need to practice it. Now, I need to go check something else with you. Necesito que veamos algo más before we finish. And it's this. Still in the manual, now in page number 36. How to use present continuous WH questions. As I told you the other day, two days ago, actually, when we use the WH questions, there are what, when, where, why, which, who, how. They are always before the structure. And I told you that the structure for a question was the auxiliary B plus the subject plus the verb in ING form plus the complement, right? Remember what, when is used when we talk about location. I'm, I'm sorry, the time, when it is happening. Where, location. Why is when we want to know the reason. And remember, whenever we use why, we have to use because. If the question is why, the answer starts with because then we have wish which means qual when we have options then we have who quien and we have how como any question about the wh questions are they clear for you Questions about the WH questions. Do you remember them? Acordamos de las WH? Remember the WH questions are also called information questions. También se les llama information questions. 
Okay. Vladimir, open up your mic, please, man. Okay. Okay, listen up. Listen, everybody. Okay, Vladimir, tell me, what is your name? My name is Vladimir Antonio Martinez. Okay, tell me, when were you born? I was born in San Marcos. When? Uh, when, sorry. Uh, I was born on May 8th. Okay. Tell me, why are you studying English? Uh, well, because I need to grow out as, as, as my job at Central Bank. Okay. I want to be a senior. Okay. Per, tell me, which, uh, which class is more difficult? This one or the one for your master's? And both of them, teacher, sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, sorry. Okay, and tell me, who is there in your house right now, besides yourself? Okay, there are my wife, my daughter, and my son, three persons. Per perfect, thank you very much. Now, the last question. Okay. Tell me. How do you feel after two hours of studying English? Uh, well, happy and tired. Happy because I'm learning and tired because I need to wake up early the next day. Yeah. It's been a long day. Thank you very much, Vladimir. All okay, today, teacher. If you notice, I was using WH question. Todas las preguntas que inicié con él, todas comenzaron con una WH. Those are called information questions. Se les llama también information questions porque nos sirven para pedir información. Okay. Like yesterday I was talking to Alfonso. Ayer hablaba yo con Alfonso. And I asked him, who do you live with? Yo le preguntaba, ah, oh, ¿con quiénes vive? And he explained to me that he lived with his uncle and his mother. Okay. And I asked him also, where does he live? And he explained to me that he lives in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Actually, he lives downtown in the center. You see, that information, I got it because I was using WH question or information questions. Like yesterday, I asked Mr. Arana, hey, I remember asking him, hey, Walter, when is your family coming back to visit you. And he told me, I asked him when, yo le pregunté cuando, and he told me, oh, they are coming in June. I asked him why, le pregunté why, por qué, and he told me, oh, because it's the vacation of the school in the United States. You see, that information I acquired by using the WH questions, okay? I asked Elwin, hey Elwin, why are you tired today? Tell me Elwin, why are you tired today? Por qué está cansado? For... Because... Because exercise. Okay. Because he was doing exercise like for three hours. Right Elwin? Three Three, three hours. Okay, you see? That, thank you very much, Edwin. That information, I could access to that information because I asked him, why? Why are you tired? Okay? So, it's very important that we remember that whenever somebody asks us using a WH question, they are asking for information, okay? Like I asked Sonia, Sonia, why did you disconnect from the class? And she told me, oh, I don't like the class. Or the why? internet, internet. Nah, nah. It's the old trick. It's a it's the, trick. In... No. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. You see, she gave me a reason nos dimos cuenta, dio una razón. Okay? So, it's very important for us to remember. The WH questions are very simple. They help us to acquire information. 
And in the grammar, the position, the structure is quite simple. La posición dentro de la estructura es bien simple. They always go before the structure of any question. Cada tiempo verbal tiene una estructura específica para las preguntas, ¿verdad? Like in simple present, en presente simple es eh, el auxiliar do o das, luego sujeto, luego verbo, luego complemento, luego question mark. Y también dice, ¿cómo es eso? Oh, do you like English class? You see, do, auxiliary, you, subject, like, verb, English class, la clase de inglés, and the question mark. That's a yes, no question. Entonces, ¿qué hago para convertirlo en un information question? I just write, I just apply at the beginning. Why? Why do you like English class? ¿Por qué? When do you like English class? ¿Cuándo? Where do you like the English class? ¿Dónde le gusta la clase de inglés? So, you see, the ideas, the information I will acquire, I will receive, is different according to that little word. Va cambiando solo por esa pequeñita palabra. That's why tomorrow we are going to be working like I did with Vladimir. So be ready, guys. Tomorrow I will be making questions to you. Like I did with him. Mañana le voy a estar haciendo preguntas así. What, where, when, how, why. With him I use them all. Con él las usé todas las que teníamos ahí en el libro. Okay? Just remember, whenever, the only one that specifically needs to have a uh, respond with a specific word, la única que usa una palabra específica para su respuesta is why. Siempre que nos preguntan why, we start the answer with because. Siempre que nos preguntan why, comenzamos la respuesta con because. Why means por qué. And the difference is this. Uh, let me text it to you. When they ask us why, They are asking, uh, I don't know if I got it. Oops. Mm. Give me just a second, guys. They are asking us this. And when they are, when we have the word because. What they are telling us, lo que nos están diciendo es, you see, the only difference in Spanish is the accent. La única diferencia en español es el acento. La primera es, ¿por qué? La otra es, ¿por qué? You see, realmente en español tenemos dos, ¿por qué? Uno es el para preguntar y el otro es para contestar. The same goes in English, okay? Why? And because. Any question? Alguna pregunta? Teacher, in the second case in Spanish, uh, it's a break, right? Por qué? It's another, another Some way. Some people separate it. Sí, huh? puede ser separado también. Okay, thanks. Okay. Guys, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homeworks, please. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. If you tomorrow, need any help, night. let me know. Si necesitan ayuda con alguna de las actividades, me avisan. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thanks. Yo tengo que entrar a la plataforma todavía. Eh, aquí ah. hay un enlace aparte, ¿verdad, teacher? No, 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 Susana. You stay here. Aquí nos quedamos. Ah, okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you, mister. Take care. Teacher, tomorrow, uh, others class, the part of the classes. I'm Mañana. sorry. Mañana, the part of classes. Let me check. Let uh, remind me, please, in the morning. Recuérdame por la mañana y le confirmo, ¿ok? Thank you. Perfect. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Okay, let's see. Just give me a second. Perfect. Hello, Susana. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Okay, Susana, tell me, how could I help you? Dígame, ¿hay algún problemita con alguno de los temas? Something that you would like to practice? ¿Algo que le gustaría practicar? No, solo que en ocasiones eh, hablo muy rápido. Cuando estamos no. haciendo los diálogos, yo siento que agarro un ritmo muy rápido y, y como que, no sé, igual digo la, no digo las palabras quizá correctamente. No, actually, your pronunciation is, for the level we are in, para el nivel en el que estamos, your pronunciation is pretty acceptable. Tu pronunciación está muy, bastante bien. Ah, ok. And remember, oh, remember, that happens to all of us. I mean, it's like when I'm speaking, sometimes I speak fast and sometimes I speak slow. Recuérdense que la cadencia, el ritmo, varía de las ideas que estamos expresando. Normalmente cuando son nuestras ideas a veces propias, we go faster, vamos más rápido. And we want to emphasize something, y cuando queremos enfatizar algo, we get slower in order to make an emphasis. So that's normal. That happens to all of us. Eso nos pasa a todos, don't worry. I mean, if that's your natural speech, es su manera natural de hablar, de discursar, it's okay. Sometimes, what it, also, sometimes happens that we get nervous. A veces nos ponemos nerviosos. And it's still, that's normal. Okay? Don't worry. This yes, that's happened. That's happened. Yeah, but this is beginners too. So don't worry that much over it. No se preocupe okay. mucho por ello. In this week, I have a confusion with with explication for the ING, cuando hablaba de, de, de que ese tipo de expresiones eran como diciendo lo que probablemente hacíamos al día siguiente, ¿verdad? porque okay. se veía lo del futuro, me confundió mucho con lo de will. Bueno, con lo de will, no, ¿verdad? no que el, el verbo, ¿qué sería la, la auxiliar will? Ok, sí. Entonces will no lo mencioné futuro. porque dije, es algo más, más avanzado y no quise, no quise mencionarlo cuando fue lo de la lo de la clase. Ok. Ya después igual lo entendí, era probable y en cambio lo otro pues realmente es más seguro. Sí, creo que les mandé un enlace, no le envié un enlace a usted. No. Ok, bueno. Déjenme ver sus Jimmy, yo sé si. En la plataforma de inglés corporativo tenemos información sobre eso. But mm, just okay. let me check out something. Solo déjenme revisar algo. Y la clase de ahora, pues la voy a la voy a revisar nuevamente toda, ¿verdad? Porque estuve en unas partes mm. ausentes. No problem, Susana. Ok. Look, Will. When we use will, Susana, we use will to, to talk about some voluntary action. Cuando hablamos de algo voluntario, we use will. Like, uh, imagínese que le llama a buscar a su esposo y su esposo le dice, mira, Susana, este, se acabó el papel higiénico, creo que voy a tener que salir. Y usted le dice, oh, yo voy de camino, yo pasaré comprándolo. That's voluntary, right? Algo voluntario. Right. I will. I will pass by. Ok. You use will also, también usa el will, to express a promise. Una promesa. Una promesa como, por ejemplo, este, usted le dice, los chicos le dicen, eh, hey, mamá, eh, cómpranos tal cosa. Y usted le dice, oh, ok. Tomorrow I am going to the office. Mañana voy a la oficina. I will buy it for you. Se los compraré mañana. Okay? That's a promise. Okay? Es una promesa o la intención de hacer algo, right? Ya vi la Now. diferencia. Con la otra explicación la entendí. Now you got it. Ahora sí. Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, the 
The other difference is this. Some of us, for some of us, it's easier to understand if we read. Para algunos de nosotros es más fácil entenderlo si lo leemos, ¿verdad? Whenever, whenever you have any doubt like that, siempre que le surjan algo como ese, se declara, you can text me right after the class and I will help you. Usted puede escribirme después de la clase o aún durante la clase. Me recuerda. Y yo puedo buscar maneras para ayudarle. So you can have it clear. ¿Ok? Para que me quede claro, usted lo repase y el siguiente día ya usted ya viene libre de su pesar. Bien. Viendo videos cortos de que te dicen, así como, por ejemplo, de, de TikTok, que te hablan de, de pronunciaciones, de ciertas frases. No. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. Entonces hay varias It's cosas nice. que sí es más fácil. Let me check on something. Déjenme revisar algo. So, as I told you, okay. uh, some, whenever you get a doubt about any topic, you can ask me and I will, I will teach you how you can get more information from the platform also. Y un día de eso les voy a explicar cómo, cómo buscar más información en la plataforma. Hay alguna información que no está completamente a la vista pero nos puede servir a nosotros como refuerzo. Eso lo voy a explicar en la clase. ¿Ok? Para que todos puedan, puedan este, accesar y revisar. ¿Ok? Ok. Something en in, el... Something in... ¿Ya está? Dígame. En el manual, igual voy anotando lo de las expresiones correctas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, así como ahora, en unas palabras de ahora, me pongo a anotar cómo sería... La pronunciación para hacerla más fácil para mí. Yeah, that also helps. Así, and por ejemplo, en el caso de colleagues, anoto tal cual. Colleagues, como se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Signing. Tal cual, signing, aunque no anoto quizá lo que significan. Ah, signing. Ay, cierto, aquí dice signing. O sea, sí anoto cómo oh. se pronuncian. Ok, that's excellent. Remember, with the meaning con el significado, with the meaning of some words, remember. Con el significado de algunas palabras, acuérdese. Sometimes the word specifically, if you translate it, a veces si la palabra usted la traduce específicamente, no va a tener sentido. Porque a veces el sentido de una palabra cambia de acuerdo al contexto. ¿Ok? Y es por eso que en esos casos, yo normalmente les trato de, les enfatizo la frase completa. O a veces nos sucede con two word verbs o verbos que tienen dos palabras. Like check in. Check es revisar. Pero check in es registrarse, ¿verdad? Sí. So, sí. Siempre voy a ir enfatizando eso. Eh, I don't know. Tell me if there is anything else. ¿Hay algo más en lo que le pudiera ayudar? No, no, no. I am very good. Ok, excelente. El ritmo me Thank parece, you. me gusta cómo lleva la clase. Thank you very much for being in my class, Susana. Gracias por estar en mi clase. Thanks to you. Thanks. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Have a good night. Ok, and that was today's explanation of the class. Let's see. And we are going to stop it right now, right here. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow.